What's going on guys? Today we're going to be doing, um, we're not really doing, we're going to chat about uh, uh, some stuff going on in the game right now. And I know, uh, was it yesterday or maybe a couple days ago, they released a thing about advantage changes, changes to the game and how it used to be or how it is now, I guess, and then how it will be in the future. And there's a lot of, you know, different speculation on, hey, maybe this next uh, huge uh, event guy, this legendary uh, Mike Eternal Skywalker, maybe will be something with advantage and i i can i can see that but what i want to go more in depth on is first order in this video because first order is a faction that i think is just so close to being just really really good um their gear 13s are solid i love executioner's gear 13 but uh let's just uh, start this video off by um going over some stuff that happened um or i guess rather the advantage changes and there also today we uh we have heard or we have word i guess of the uh upcoming uh, calendar for october and i'm not too excited about that because in the in the calendar um we already can see mallet coming back for a third third time yeah um so yeah <laughs> let's just get into it guys all right so let's just briefly go over it because i know probably a lot of you already have known about this because it's been out for a couple days so this, uh, I'm not going to read literally everything. I want to just read a few of the points. So the one, two, and three here, those points, right? This is how it works right now with, with the advantage. So it says if you have advantage and your opponent has crit hit immunity, advantage will not be consumed in this attack. And then for the second point they have, if you have advantage and your opponent has foresight, it does get consumed and it's just like a waste of turn pretty much. Um, and the number three, you have advantage and your opponent has both crit hit immunity and foresight, it will be consumed. So that's how it is now. Uh, but what they're gonna do here um, is this uh, This is what they're gonna say here. Uh, to address this erratic behavior, we are changing advantage to no longer be consumed when the attack is dodged in the next content or at least. This means advantage will not be consumed unless you actually land a critical hit. So that is pretty big. So if there is a, if there is a chance for you to crit somebody and to actually do damage, it will be consumed if there is, uh, you know, if there's foresight and there's, um, and then there's crit immunity, you're not gonna waste your advantage, you're actually gonna keep it until the next turn you can actually use it on, which is really cool to see. And boy, oh boy, do I think that this will be probably huge in this next, um, this next uh, meta. I think if you're going to talk about <laughs> um, being able to crit Malik when he has all that crit avoidance, oh boy, the clones with Echo, with fives and with shock t or not shock t yeah i guess shock t and uh ahsoka with this potential new fifth boy oh boy are we in for a treat guys for some dps machines holy poop they're gonna do some crazy crazy things but if you don't want to think about it that way and you think we're going to be getting something a little bit different let's go chat about the first order for just a little bit okay so another important thing i want to touch up here before we go over to some more of the first order talk is um so this is a while ago actually this little post this was march 18th 2019 so this is a uh, this is a little post chatting about deathmark and taunt and this was uh around the time of darth revan so this was uh this was a post that they kind of changed how deathmark interacted with taunt and mark stuff like that and what i'm kind of thinking of here and how we can relate this to the whole advantage changes is that they're setting this up for this next meta and this was you know really you know th the post came out and then something big happened um and i'm thinking the same thing here it's got to be something big happening with the whole advantage and as much as i would like it to be the first order i just don't think the timeline is going to work out well with that and um i just think it makes a lot more sense having this next big, uh, you know, legendary, whatever you want to call it, Malak type of event be something tied with advantage and granting advantage a lot more often and uh, <laughs> just giving a lot more damage output. So now let's chat about some of the first order stuff that I want to get into. Okay, so there are eight first order in the game right now. And honestly, I would say all of them are pretty dang good except for Phasma right now. Um, Phasma is just really outdated. Um, her leadership's outdated. Her whole kit is pretty much outdated. Everybody else is, it's somewhat decent. Yeah, it might be a little bit outdated like Officer. He has very just simple, simple kit design. But I mean, the usefulness inside of that First Order team is really, really awesome. Um, so actually outside of Phasma, I would probably say FOTP is also, I wouldn't say equally as outdated, but he is pretty dang outdated as well. Holy cow, I have a Zade on this guy and 
I don't know why I, gave, I don't know why I gave it to him. He's at the time I'm guessing he was just something I really liked, and I, I still think he's somewhat decent, but Executioner just kind of beats him in the damage and DPS department 100%. Um, but the, the Zeta on this guy, you get more CC, more CD, and uh, whenever, or he has a 70% chance to gain foresight whenever he loses advantage. So with those whole changes to advantage, um, he's not going to be losing it as much. So this Zeta kind of hurts him more than helps him if you think about it. Um, because you kind of want the advantage to just kind of like pop off and on on him all the time for the, uh, for the foresight. And that's kind of the same thing with the first order team in general honestly because you get a lot of advantage all the time and if you're you know wasting it you're gonna get it back pretty soon and guess what with cruise lead you gain a five percent hp protection whenever you you uh, gain a status effect and that's buffs and debuffs so with how with how it works right now with advantage it actually helps um the first order faction but with the changes in here it could i mean stacking the advantage up could really be helpful for the first order faction and just trying to get those those guaranteed big hits on the guys but it could also be a detriment to them team to the team as a whole because you're not going to be getting as much hp protection back like on a crew or a tank like fost so yeah for, but for fotp this guy is severely outdated i love his kit though he does some big damage he has a lot of extra um D, uh, you know cd and damage output in his kit I just think that maybe we give him a little bit of a touch up and then he'll be back to being amazing again. Um, this is, you know, a lot further down the line though. This is probably, you know, a month or two away around the next movie time. Um, I love his double tap. <laughs> I mean, his whole kit's a base around advantage. So when I, when I saw this whole advantage tweak, I was really thinking about my boy FOTP because I love this guy still. And I just don't think he fits in that well to a first order team right now. Maybe down the line we'll get like a new leadership that really, really hits on the part of advantage. And maybe these tweaks are both centered towards this next thing coming for General Skywalker and this clones stuff. And then also it will be centered around this next first order stuff happening because like i always tell you guys the metas in uh, the arena tend to be dark side light side and they kind of just go back and forth on those things so if it is going to be light side meta with this next thing coming we'll for sure be seeing either a first order meta or some sort of dark side meta coming down the line around the new movie and i would love to see first order being meta i don't think they have been meta yet um they've always been a really solid counter to a meta um, unfortunately, not really that great of a counter right now versus Malik, but you never know. I mean, maybe we'll get a cool leadership down the line that really does just huge amounts of damage. But when we're talking about that, I kind of think it's more centered around the clones right now, more than the first order. But I would just love to see down the line, love to see some more guys for, for the first order. I would love to see a little bit more kit retouches, some more reworks, because this whole faction, there is a great synergy with the whole faction of first order. I just think they're missing a couple key points to make them um, either, you know, <laughs> I, I would love to say meta dominant, but I, as of right now, I just don't think it'll be a thing. They'll need to have some just ridiculous leaderships and an you know, insane tune almost to uh, to kind of round them up all round them all up. So love me some first order i just don't think this whole advantage changes is, is uh, really towards them i think it's more towards um these guys over here the gr and uh the clones for one and hopefully uh hopefully we get some rework soon because as of right now i know i did a video a little bit ago on these uh these clone wars jedi like barris um luminara eth koth ayla kit fisto like all those guys i think they'll be needed somewhere down the line if we don't get reworks of them soon, I just can't see them being needed in a legendary type of event. Um, maybe, maybe they're gonna still put, the, give them or make them required, and they just don't rework them or anything. That would suck. Um, absolutely suck. I don't know why they would do that. But uh, if you want to talk about some of the council members, um, some of the council members um, are gonna be really hard to get. I mean, you get uh, Kit Fisto down here. He was a part of the council. And this guy, he's just not looking good. I would hate to have this guy be required for an event and not rework him beforehand. Um, if there is anything with the council members and this whole Jedi GR and the Clone Wars Jedi, there's got to be a rework coming soon for them if they are needed. Um, everybody has pretty much gotten their clones shock T almost done. And the only money they can pretty much make from here uh, for this next event is the Clone Wars Jedi. That's all I can see here. I doubt they'll need you to get Clone Wars Chewbacca cup um stuff like that so i just really hope 
we get some sort of um, info here soon on whatever's coming down the line because it's always better to prepare rather than just sitting waiting and, and not knowing what to work on because after you get your clones and your shock T done, you're just kind of thinking about what they could possibly throw at you next. And all I can think of right now is just the Clone Wars Jedi. So that's pretty much today's video, guys. Um, my thoughts on this whole advantage change and um, what I think is coming down the line here soon. One thing I'm not too uh, certain on, though, right before we uh, wrap this up, I'm not too certain if crit avoidance will still be able to negate the crits, or I'm not too sure actually how advantage works, if it just guarantees the crit no matter what, or if the um, the advantage just gives a lot more um, crit chance. So if like possibly Treya could still um, counter the crit and, and not get crit at all. I'm not too sure there, but I just thought that was pretty interesting because if you're gonna have advantage be a big thing here, maybe we'll, we'll see some newer things, or I mean rather some older things come back um, to uh, counter some of these bigger teams that, we're, well, that we will be seeing soon. But uh, that's pretty much it for today's video. Just some of my thoughts on advantage. Just some of my things I would like like to see with First Order and stuff like that as well. Because I think First Order is going to get a huge buff soon. I'm not too sure on Resistance. Maybe it's something small. I'm not as big as First Order because I would love to see a First Order meta more than JTR meta and Resistance. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, give it a like, share it around, and sub if you guys are new here to my channel. Um, we've got a Discord and a Patreon if you guys want to go check out those two things. But that's it for me today, guys. Have a good one out there, and I will see you later.